guys, how you doing? Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, all that good stuff. Uh, you can see I'm out here with the uh, GMC today. I'm uh, doing an oil change on her. Actually, going to be using the uh, Mobile One uh, X2 ESP X2 uh, oil. One thing I just this is real quick for for today. Make sure you get under there periodically and check your oil filter. Um, I made sure I cleaned all the surfaces, then lightly lubricated the the O ring, and uh, I was shocked at how loose the oil filter is. Now I drive my truck a lot, so the intervals between um, oil changes are probably less than most people because you just saw, I just did a video recently using a different type of oil than either the X2 or the uh, uh, Delco oil. Um, and I'm already ready for a change. <laughs> so um, underneath those, take a quick look. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're underneath here. You can see I haven't gotten the uh, drain plug off yet, but the oil filter, was like I said, shockingly easy to take off. So uh, that's uh, yeah, it's obviously all dripping all over the place. So I'm gonna let that uh, finish draining, and then I'll be able to get that off in a second. But I'm gonna pull the plug now, and just drain the pan and get her going, and then do everything in reverse like you normally do. But uh, yeah, this guy, I would be very, I would check this every few thousand miles, honestly, because I barely put the filter wrench on it and it was boom, it came right off and was free spinning. So I would just recommend check this thing, be on the safe side, uh, especially if, if, you know, it's several months between your intervals of driving it. And, I, you know, I don't know if it has something to do with the heating and uh, cooling cycles and that this thing works, it's, you know, either vibrates off or just works its way off slowly. But th it was, I put it on tight and that bad boy was very loose. All right, guys, just a follow-up uh, from the previous update here, just to let you guys know what's what's going on. I was able to drive the truck around a little bit today. It actually snowed for a little bit, so it was a great surface to see if oil's dripping out of your car. Luckily, nothing going on uh, there. Did was able to get underneath and check it. Filter's nice and tight as it was left, so I have a feeling I'm going to have to get some mileage on it, uh, especially that, that long uh, hour plus of driving at a consistent RPM, just like steady vibration to see if it loosens up. So I'm, what I'm going to do, drive this week, get the mileage on her, and then come back and check it again and see if um, it's loosened up any. So I think maybe what I may do, um, and I'm not sure the easiest way to do this is get a torque on how much I actually put. It's going to be very low, like inch pounds, roughly, probably, may, maybe a few foot pounds. Um, but I'd like to probably set something up, and I may have to do it on the next one. Um, but see how, you know, put it to a certain torque on the um, on the filter and then see how much it's loosened. Um, if it's any indication of what it did before, I literally just went up and put the wrench on it and barely, it was just it slid right off. I'm like, holy crap, like could easily just free spin it. And that's never happened before in any of the oil changes I've done. So it doesn't look like the ceiling surface is any different, nor is the filter any different. But the diesel engines do shake a lot more. Uh, you know, this is a pretty tame engine comparatively, but they do shake a lot. Um, so maybe that's just some vibration at a given RPM, but we'll see what happens. So stay tuned. We'll have another update next week. And uh, thanks for watching.